Okay, I could not help myself. I did this cart first, put a solar panel on the roof, and just to see if it would keep up with charging. It doesn't quite, um, about once a week, I gotta give her a top up if I'm gonna go for a round of golf, cause don't wanna get stuck halfway through since this is an experiment. And don't, or would rather not get pulled home and be laughed at. So yeah, we use this one a lot around the acreage. Um, it basically gets used all day, every day. So my wife's cart is a 48 volt, newer technology, more efficient, goes faster, much faster. So I found this 340 watt panel. This is a 245 watt panel. So same thing, couldn't find a panel with high enough voltage this size, just to make it look half decent. Uh, had to buy the Renogy Rover Boost controller again, just to boost the voltage. It's a 48 volt system. I think the panel puts out about 37. So we rob a little bit of uh, amperage to get the voltage up and charge these batteries. So right now, 8 a.m., charging at 3.75 amps. This is the 48 volt system. 36 volt system is charging at, oh, no, I hit something. There we go. We're charging at 3.04 amps. So that one's putting out more, which it should. It's got an extra 100 watts. Um, put uh, this thing to the test for about three weeks now it's worked great this one i put together last night so we're gonna see what things do in the middle of the day the old one when the sun is right high with no clouds can put out as high as seven and a half amps during the day this one we'll see see how she goes